Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Uh, today I am excited to bring you a review on something that I've had for a couple of weeks and I just um, wanted to share it with you. It is the brand new Country Palette from Too Faced. Nashville Nude Color Collection is what this is called here on the bottom. Starting with the packaging. I love the packaging. I love the rope detail and the stars on the edge. It's fantastic. It would have been neat if they had like some boots to stick up here, but they also have the um, the little cards here for the eye makeup looks, the three steps, three looks, three minute uh, cards here. And it also has a mirror in the inside of this. I'm not gonna pull it all the way up, but it does have a mirror in this palette and I think that's handy. And going on to the colors, uh, there is only one matte shade in this entire palette. So keep this in mind when we go through this. And it is the Cowboy Take Me Away, this fleshy pink color here on top. And then we have um, this creamy shimmer highlight here, famous in a small town. And this uh, muted gray color here, shimmery. And then we come up to Y'all, which is a rose color. Pepper Roses is pink. And then uh, this purple gray, purple gray color is Nashville. Dolly is right here. It's a brown with just a little bit of sparkle or glitter in that. And then rhinestone is this purple with a lot of glitter in it. And bluebird is this very beautiful, rich, deep blue with um, glitter in it. So, going on to the quality of the shadows. Um, I love all of the highlight shades. I think they're fantastic. I'm glad that they did decide to throw in a, a matte highlight with the palette. So, I'm super excited about that. Nothing bad to say about that. And then, um, starting at the top, y'all is the um, color right here. It is... Oh, it is such a disappointment to me because it is gritty and there is it lacks pigmentation it doesn't build well either and it's just work 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 to get any kind of um, color payoff on the lids when you you know attempt to try to wear it um, I think that that was the one thing that I was looking forward to the most in this palette because I bought this on cinema value just completely because I am from Nashville and I was like yay we have a palette that is, you know, it's Nashville palette, you know? Um, and <clears throat> that one, y'all, was the, you know, the one I look forward to the most. But it turned out to be the biggest flop in the palette, in my opinion. So, no, you know, no hard feelings or nothing. It is what is what it is. But moving on, uh, this beautiful pink right here is uh, Paper Roses. It is very beautiful. I like that it has a gold undertone in it, and I think that's really neat. That's a very beautiful color. I think it's one um, that stands out in the palette for sure. Yeah, it's a purple gray color here in the Nashville. I think this is a very um, different color too. I think it kind of is runs neck and neck um, with Paper Roses in my opinion as far as the um, uniqueness of the color itself. And then we come up here to Dolly and <clears throat> it's a very rich brown. It has very little bit of um, glitter in it, but all in, but I really do like this shade. I don't tend to use a lot of dark, dark browns like that, but I think it is a quality shade in this palette. And then a rhinestone is very, very, uh, very glittered purple. I think it is a beautiful color, and I'm actually wearing it on the outer V right here. Bluebird here at the bottom. It's grainy as well. But I don't feel like it's as grainy as y'all is. And it's a very rich blue. I used six shadows. You know, I used, of course, one highlight color. And I used Pepper Roses, Nashville, Bluebird, Rhinestone, and Dolly. And, of course, um, you know, I just completely bypassed um, y'all. I feel like it it can still create beautiful eyeshadow looks. But I don't feel like this is their best palette. Like I said, I bought it all on sentimental value. You can really pull out some beautiful eye looks with this. You can get really creative like I did. I put Famous in a Small Town in my inner duct and up a little bit into the inner crease. And then I took Paper Roses on the eyelid. And I put um, Nashville on kind of in the middle but out toward the end of the eyes. And then I come up behind it with Rhinestone. And I lined my top lash line with uh, with Maybelline's Master Drama in black. And then I took an angle brush and tapped it into Dolly and smudged out the 
the black eyeliner with that brown to kind of give it a different look and I did it on the lower lash line and then I took um, I took Nashville again and brought it uh, the rest of the way all the way to the tear duct on the lower lash line. So I hope this helps you to decide if you want to purchase something from the Smitten Kitten line. Um, that is my thoughts on the Country Palette and I would think that I'd have more of a biased opinion just because it is from Nashville but you know a product is what a product is so I have to be true to that and make sure that you subscribe for the cat eyes tutorial and review I will be doing that trying to get that up in the next couple of days and um, just a snickety pickety very very nice I think that's a beautiful palette so that's all that's all you get until you until I put it up so have a great night. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.